Hi everybody, welcome to another video about MCP or Model Context Protocol. And today I'm gonna feature Super Gateway and the name itself is already great. Um, it, what is it doing? It will run MCP STDIO servers over SSE and SSE over STDIO. So um, that's a lot of passwords. So uh, essentially, what does it do? Uh, when you create a server with model context protocol, like we did the last time, you get the choice to select, um, hey, how do we want to expose this server to whoever wants to use it? And uh, one easy way to do it is to use standard input output. So console log essentially in, in JavaScript. And um, yeah, when you do that, uh, you usually run that stuff locally like we did here we just started the node.js process or you might have seen people just using mpx or maybe even python or whatever to run um, the server locally but what if you don't want to run it locally or what at least if you want to run it um, on on a network port um, maybe centrally for your team or all your teams and um, one way to do that is using SS E or server sent events, which essentially runs over HTTP as far as I understood it. And um, you can do that using model context protocol. Uh, so if you take a look at whatever you get in here, you'd not just get like STDIO, you also get like um, the uh, uh, SSE transport, whatever it's called. But you know, not every server is available for you to modify the source code. And one way around that is to use Super Gateway. And Super Gateway essentially allows you, like it's, it's a Node.js project, so you can run it with MPX, it's packaged somewhere. Uh, and it allows you to just, you know, select an STDIO server and um, it will expose it on, on port 8000 on localhost. And um, let's actually just try that. So let's open a new window. Um, I think that's my folder, yeah. And what I want to do is I just want to run the Slack MCP. So we have the Slack MCP server from Model Context Protocol servers. And let's scroll down, let's scroll down. There we go. MPX minus Wi-Fi, yes. Model Context Protocol server Slack. I'm just going to copy paste this last one. So let's do that. So we're going to run MPX minus Y at model context protocol server slack and we will probably see a failure uh, essentially i must have had a typo let's actually copy that but what we should see is a failure because we are not setting the correct environment where i will slack bot token slack team id so let's actually just just do that slack bot token it's not a real token don't worry not leaking anything. And now we can run the server and it runs on STDIO and it's completely useless now because I should have used Claude Desktop or uh, Visual Studio Copilot and actually configured it in there. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. What I will now do, now that I know this command and the variables I need to set, that I've exported, what I can now do is I can use Super Gateway. So let's do that, let's do mpx minus y super gateway minus minus stdio and then i will copy the command from above and let's see what this does there we go um it's now basically starting super gateway it's telling me it's listening on port 8000 and there's an sse endpoint and there is a child process being spawned, which is this one in here, which is starting the Slack MCP server. And it's connecting to Super Gateway. And there we go, Slack MCP server running on SDAO. This is what we saw here. And what we can now do is I can now go to my Visual Studio code um, and I will just open Copilot, open chat. Um, and I want to add an MCP server uh, agent. There we go. Add MCP server, and I'm gonna use HTTP server send events, and I'm just gonna use localhost 8000, 
and press enter. I will give it a name. My super gateway Slack MCP server because it's the greatest ever. I'm gonna save it in my workspace and there it is. And it has actually loaded. If I click here, ah, come on, start the server. Oh yeah, I forgot something. Uh, it's, not, it's not telling me cannot get slash. That's my mistake. It's slash SSE. Um, it actually tells you that in here, it tells you this is the SSE endpoint. And now let's refresh, start. And we now have eight tools available. Uh, for the fun of it, I'm gonna ask it to list my channels, but it's probably gonna fail because it's not a real Slack token. So, uh, list my Slack channels. Yes, please list my Slack channels. Of course, it tells me invalid odd, and the LLM will now probably tell me what I should do to get my authentication right, or maybe not. Anyway, so now I have um, this server running, but you know, um, what's the point really? I mean, you can see some communication here, right? But what's the point? I'm on my local computer, right? Um, this needs to go on a server. So let's copy this command. I'm gonna control C here. I've copied the command as well. And um, yeah, let's keep that open for now. And let's dockerize, or let's containerize that. Um, I'm gonna use um, Node.js Alpine. I think that's available, right? Um, not specifying any version. I mean, if you really want to have one, let's just pick, um, is it actually? Ah, whatever, let's use this one, right? And I'm gonna use the command. I'm gonna copy paste the command that we just had in here. However, this is not gonna be working for multiple reasons. Um, A, I need to separate the command. So let's do that. And then B, uh, what we also need is, oh, I think that should work, that should work. Okay, let's try this. So let's go to the terminal and run docker build dot. It did build it. Let's give this a name. Um, my super gateway slack MCP server version 1.0. It's gonna be my awesome build image name. And docker run. We don't want this container to be saved. So I'm gonna use management as RM. And let's just run this and Okay, we are getting an error. It's not finding. Oh yeah, oh, sorry. Okay, uh, rebuild, run. We should now get an error that the Slack bot token is not defined. Starting the SSE, but yeah, please set the Slack bot token and Slack team ID. Great, um, I mean, we could do that here, but that's also not the point. The point would now be to just specify an environment variable here, or if you are in uh, in Kubernetes, you know, you could just pass that on as a secret. Um, yeah, or with whatever container runtime you use, you can just pass on those environment variables. Um, again, not actual tokens, so nothing is leaked. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna use minus minus IT because I want this to run in an interactive terminal. The rest is the same. So we're gonna, we're gonna do Docker run. We pass the Slack bot token as an environment variable. We pass the Slack team ID as an environment variable. We say we want an interactive terminal. We want this container to be deleted after it's done. And I'm just gonna run this image. And it should now spawn the server. There we go, come on. It looks good. Um, what's most likely not gonna work now is the port because I believe by default Docker doesn't expose a port. Um, I think I need to write it here, like port 8000, is that it? No. Um, actually, you know what? We have the power of an LLM. How do I expose a port in a Docker file? Let's actually ask our LLM. Expose, <laughs> could have been, I could have uh, come up with that my own. So expose 8000, yep. And then docker run minus P, okay. 
So let's actually do that. I'm going to control C the server. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to add minus P 8000, 8000. I probably might should have rebuilt the image. But for the fun of it, let's see if this already works. So let's restart our MCP server. It's connecting, it has discovered eight tools. And yeah, it's actually also telling me it is connected. So this is my, just scrolling up, this is my Docker MCP server here. And I can now again tell him, list my Slack channels. And it should get in touch with the MCP, yep via HTTP, you can see it's doing something here, but I don't have a proper authentication, oh, of course. Uh, anyway, uh, it's super easy what we did here, right? Uh, let's actually just put a quick readme file up. Um, bu -bu -bu, where is the Docker command? There. And you can find a link to this readme file in the description below. If you like what you just saw, um, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you soon, bye-bye.